Recorded Books and RB Digital present Someone to Remember, a Westcott story by Mary Ballog, narrated by Rosalind Landor. Chapter One Lady Matilda Westcott's day had just taken a turn for the worse. She had not thought it possible, but she had been wrong. She was sitting behind the tea tray in the drawing room, pouring for her mother and their visitors, whose unexpected arrival had cheered her at first. Alexander, Earl of Riverdale, and head of the Westcott family, and Wren, his wife, were always welcome. They were an amiable, attractive young couple, and Matilda was extremely fond of them. Their conversation had followed predictable lines for several minutes, inquiries after the health of Matilda and her mother, and news of their young children, and those of Elizabeth, Alexander's sister, and Colin, Lord Hodges, her husband, with all of whom they had enjoyed a picnic in Richmond Park the day before. But now they had changed the subject. Wren and I have decided that we really ought to invite Viscount Dirksen to dine with us, Alexander said. Ought? Matilda's mother, the Dowager Countess of Riverdale, asked sharply. Matilda, meanwhile, had gone still, the teapot poised over the third cup. As a sort of thank you, Cousin Eugenia, Wren explained. Not that any of us need to thank him, exactly. Gil is his son, after all. But Viscount Dirksen has had no dealings with Gil all his life, and might easily have ignored that custody hearing a couple of weeks ago. His absence might have made no difference in the judge's decision, of course. On the other hand, perhaps it did make a difference. And we want him to know that we appreciate what he did, for Abigail's sake, and for Gil's and Katie's sakes— we have invited him for tomorrow, and he has accepted. But we would like it to be a family dinner, Alexander said. Not all the Westcotts are in town, of 